Welcome to the Literature Podcast. I'm Susan, your guide on this journey through the world of poetry. Today we're going to travel through time, tracing poetry's evolution, its rhythm, its motion, and the way it mirrors the society we live in. Our journey begins at the very essence of this art form, with an introduction to poetry. This is no ordinary form of literature. It's a universal mode of expression, a creative outlet that transcends boundaries. Poetry, through its unique blend of rhythm, language, and imagery, creates an emotional resonance that leaves us moved, introspective, or enlightened. Its influence is profound, whether it's a simple verse that captures a fleeting emotion, an epic that narrates heroic deeds, or a modern-day spoken word that challenges societal norms. As we step into the timeline of poetry, we find ourselves in the ancient world, the birthplace of this literary form. The Epic of Gilgamesh, the Homeric poems, the Vedas, the Psalms, these early works were not merely meant for silent reading, but were composed to be recited, to be heard. They were not just stories. They were cultural foundations that shaped societies. Moving into the Middle Ages and the Renaissance, poetry began to evolve in form and theme. The sonnet was born, courtly love flourished, and themes of religion, valor, and humanism were explored. Figures like Dante, Chaucer, Petrarch, and Shakespeare played significant roles in these transformations. Shakespeare, for instance, was a master of the sonnet, a 14-line poem with a specific rhyme scheme. His sonnets explored themes of love, beauty, time, and mortality, creating a tapestry of human emotion and experience that continues to resonate with us today. As we glide into the Romantic era, we see a shift in the world of poetry. Emotion, individualism, and the natural world took center stage. Poets like Wordsworth, Keats, and Shelley created works that celebrated emotion and the individual's relationship with nature, serving as a counterpoint to the industrialization sweeping across Europe. Modern poetry, from the 20th century and beyond, has seen even more diversity in form and theme. Free verse has become popular, and poetry has increasingly become a platform for social commentary and personal expression. Poets like Maya Angelou, Langston Hughes and Sylvia Plath have used their poetry to address issues of identity, race, gender, and mental health, contributing to important societal conversations. Rhythm and rhyme are the very heartbeats of poetry. The rhythm, or meter, is created by the arrangement of stressed and unstressed syllables, while rhyme contributes to the musicality of the verse. However, not all poetry adheres to a strict rhythm or rhyme scheme. Free verse, for instance, relies on the natural rhythms of speech, offering poets more flexibility in expression. Beyond the rhythm of the words themselves, poetry also embodies movement in its themes and structures. A poem can take us on a journey, from a problem to a resolution, from one emotion to another, from the physical to the metaphysical. Finally, poetry acts as a mirror, reflecting the society in which it was created. From the epic poems of the ancient world that reflect societies rooted in mythology and heroism to the sonnets of the Renaissance that mirror a society in intellectual and artistic bloom to the free verse of the modern era that reflects our complex and rapidly changing world, poetry offers us a unique lens to view the human experience. So next time you read a poem, remember, you're not just reading words on a page. You're embarking on a journey, one that dances to a unique rhythm, moves with purpose and intention, and holds up a mirror to our shared human experience. Thank you for joining me, Susan, on this journey today in our literature podcast. Stay curious, stay inspired, and keep exploring the world of poetry. As we travel deeper into our exploration, 
we'll encounter the different facets that make poetry a powerful and dynamic form of literary expression. Rhythm and rhyme, the heartbeats of poetry. Every poem pulses with life. This pulse, the rhythm, is what separates poetry from other forms of written expression. It's what gives poetry its musicality, making it memorable and impactful. But where does this rhythm originate? It's an outcome of an arrangement of stressed and unstressed syllables, creating patterns known as metrical feet. Just like our hearts that beat to keep us alive, the rhythm in poetry breathes life into the words, turning simple language into an art form. A shift in rhythm can mimic the ups and downs of our emotions, make us pause or rush, and guide us through the journey the poet has laid before us. Rhyme, another core component, adds another dimension to poetry, layering sound aesthetics onto the rhythm. When words at the ends of lines echo each other, they create end rhymes, a pattern that our minds enjoy. Internal rhymes, where words within a single line or two set of lines correspond in sound, add surprise and complexity. Despite their importance, not all poems abide by strict meter or rhyme. Enter the world of free verse, where poetry is unchained from the traditional rules. Free verse relies instead on natural rhythms, replicating the patterns of speech and thought. It gives poets the freedom to experiment with form and structure, offering a canvas that is both challenging and liberating. Poetry in Motion, exploring movement and dynamism in poetry. At a casual glance, poetry might seem static, confined to the stillness of a page. But beneath the surface, poetry brims with motion. It carries the reader along a path that the poet has charted, guided by the flow of ideas and the ebb and rise of emotion. The concept of motion in poetry isn't just about the physical movement of characters or objects within the poem. It's about the journey that the reader embarks upon, the changes that take place within them as they traverse from the first line to the last. A poem can transport us to another place, another time, or another state of mind. It can lead us to unknown terrains or guide us inward into the unexplored realms of our consciousness. Forms like the sonnet, with its structured 14 lines and meticulous rhyme scheme, often provide a clear journey. Each line contributes to the build-up leading to a climax or a resolution in the concluding lines. In contrast, free verse, liberated from strict form, uses natural rhythm and the undulations of emotion to create movement. A hike, with its brevity and focus on a single moment, creates motion by transporting us abruptly into a different scene or sentiment. Poetry as a societal mirror, how poetry reflects changing societies. One of the most captivating aspects of poetry is its ability to serve as a mirror to society. As we read a poem, we often catch glimpses of the world in which it was created. It reflects not just the individual poet's thoughts and feelings, but also the larger social, political, and cultural climate. If we were to pick up a poem from a different era, it would provide a window into that period's values, struggles, and aspirations. The grandiose epics of ancient times narrate tales of valor and heroism, echoing societies where honor and bravery were prized. The romantic lyrics of the Middle Ages, the humanist sonnets of the Renaissance, or the introspective verses of the modern era, each paints a picture of its time. In contemporary society, poetry has become a platform for voicing concerns and challenging norms. Poems on themes like climate change, racial injustice, gender equality, and mental health stimulate thought and conversation, nudging society towards introspection and change. As we navigate through the intricacies of poetry, we learn to appreciate the rhythm that breathes life into it, the motion that propels it, and the societal reflections it offers. As we continue on our journey, we'll explore the ways poetry has been used as a tool for personal growth empathy, and connection.
We're continuing our fascinating journey through the universe of poetry, exploring its vast landscapes, delving into its hidden corners, and appreciating its unique beauty. Influence of Poetic Forms on Movement Poetry is an art form known for its depth and diversity. Across cultures and throughout history, poets have experimented with numerous forms, each with its own unique rhythm, structure, and style. The form of a poem significantly influences the movement within it, the journey it takes us on, the emotions it stirs, and the images it conjures in our mind. Consider the sonnet, a form known for its tight structure of 14 lines and a specific rhyme scheme. The sonnet takes us on a swift yet profound journey, usually from a problem or question presented in the first eight lines, the octave, to a resolution or response in the final six lines, the assess, the turn or shift that often happens between these two sections, known as the volta, is a critical moment of movement within the sonnet. In contrast, a haiku, a traditional form of Japanese poetry, has a starkly different effect. Consisting of just three lines and typically involving nature or seasons, a haiku captures a single moment in time, a snapshot that is evocative and resonant. The movement in a haik is more subtle, the shift more internal than explicit. Free verse, a form that eschews traditional rules of meter and rhyme, offers a different kind of dynamism. The movement in free verse is not predetermined by a fixed structure, but emerges naturally from the rhythm of the language and the progression of thought or emotion. The role of imagery in creating motion. Imagery, the use of descriptive language to create sensory experiences, is another powerful tool that brings motion to poetry. Through vivid and evocative descriptions, a poet can transport us to different settings, bring static scenes to life, and evoke emotions that move us. By describing sights, sounds, smells, tastes, and textures, poets can create a tangible world within the poem. A well-crafted image can carry us on a journey, whether it's an expansive journey across a vast landscape or an introspective journey into the depths of a particular emotion or experience. The motion in these lines is palpable, carrying us upwards alongside the eagle. Mirror to society, contemporary themes in poetry. As we continue our exploration of poetry as a societal mirror, we turn to contemporary times. Today, poets employ this art form to explore a range of themes that reflect the world's current realities. In an age characterized by rapid technological advancement, climate change, political shifts, and social movements, Poetry has become an important platform for commenting on these changes and their impacts on our lives. Themes such as identity, politics, immigration, mental health, environmental awareness, and more are widely explored, reflecting the hopes, challenges, and complexities of the modern world. Poetry has also evolved in its delivery and consumption. Spoken word, a performance-based form of poetry, has gained popularity. It offers a dynamic and powerful means of addressing contemporary issues, fostering empathy, and promoting understanding. We hope that as you read, listen to, or write poetry, you'll appreciate the rhythm that gives it life, the movement that takes you on a journey, and the reflection it offers of our shared human experience. As we draw closer to the end of our exploration, we reflect on the power and beauty of poetry and how it has not only shaped societies, but also been a source of personal growth and a deep understanding of the human experience. Poetry as a tool for personal growth. Just as poetry has the power to move societies, it also has the ability to move individuals. Writing and reading poetry can foster personal growth, serving as a tool for self-expression and self-discovery. When we pen our thoughts, emotions, and experiences in the form of poetry, we engage in a process of introspection and self-reflection. We discover aspects about ourselves and our experiences that perhaps we weren't consciously aware of before. Reading poetry has similar benefits. 
As we delve into the verses, we're invited to explore the world through someone else's perspective. We're exposed to new ideas, new experiences, new emotions. This can broaden our horizons, develop empathy, and deepen our understanding of the world and the human condition. Poetry as a medium for empathy and connection. In a world filled with differences and divisions, poetry serves as a bridge, connecting us through shared human experiences. Even when a poem describes an experience we've never had or expresses emotions that we've never felt, it can stir feelings of empathy and understanding within us. We are moved by the raw humanity that the words capture, and we feel connected to the poet and to others who have read and been moved by the same verses. The Endless Journey of Poetry As we conclude our journey through poetry, it's important to remember that the world of poetry is as vast as the universe of human emotion and experience. It is an endless landscape with new vistas to explore and new depths to plunge into. The joy of poetry lies in this journey, in the exploration of the unfamiliar, in the discovery of the unexpressed. Thank you for joining me, Susan, on this wonderful journey through the world of poetry on the Literature Podcast. I hope that this exploration has left you with a deeper appreciation of this beautiful art form and a curiosity to continue your own journey through the realm of poetry. As we part ways for now, I leave you with this thought. Keep reading, keep writing, keep exploring the depth and breadth of human emotion, and always let poetry move you.